Oh, hey, what's Catherine doing there? Let's go. Let's go. Must be time for pairs mode. You can play any of the levels of Babel in two-player mode. Unfortunately, it's local only. There's no online play, which is disappointing, but there you go. Stage four, the Axis Mundi. They're finally here at the final stage of Babel. The challengers are, of course, our brilliant climbers. Are the fates smiling down upon them, or are they grinning cruelly, waiting to snuff out their foolish hopes? The countdown begins now. Record. Three, two, one, start. Yeah, it looks like the commentator has uh, different things to say, depending on how many players you have as well. New record. New record. Right. Um, I've got my friend playing here. Unfortunately, I can't record commentary and uh, the game audio at the same time with my setup. So, going to be stuck without his commentary, I'm afraid. He wasn't that keen on having his voice on the internet anyway, it seems. But I'm playing Vincent. And my friend is playing Catherine. <sighs> Things are going to move a bit more slowly here because, you know, I'm having to instruct him on the way. This is the second time he's ever played the game. But he does pretty well. Actually, most of the time it's me messing up, but then, hey, I'm making most of the moves. New record. New record. <laughs> New record. Spend a lot more time thinking here because I've got to uh, consider his position a lot more. It's like the cathedral stage where I had to escort Catherine in a way. I've always got to be careful not to block off his progress. Shame we couldn't work, be working together a bit more, but there you go. The weird thing about pairs mode, and no doubt you've already noticed this. Pa oh, he's a bit stuck around the back there. <laughs> um, yes, the weird thing about pairs mode is you might notice, but this is actually kind of easy. New record. I think they've decided to be nice when it comes to two-player mode and make it very accessible to those who haven't played the game before. I mean, if you can imagine... It's going to be difficult finding two, play two players who's played Catherine an awful lot, I guess. So... Well, what the hell am I doing here? <laughs> going to be difficult finding two players who are very experienced at the game and at the same level. So they made the game quite easy to make it accessible to pairs of players. It does kind of mean that one player ends up always uh, stuck at the back, kind of like waiting for his friend to give him the go-ahead to come along. Come on. New record, new record, new record. The, you might not see new record thing. It's only counting up when Catherine walks up. That's because she's at a lower level. It it's only counts when uh, both players have reached that, le that level. So whoever is at the lowest is the person who counts for records. Can't just have one person steam ahead and leave the other behind. New record. New record. But yes, this is significantly easier than the real Axis Mundi. In fact, if you try hard, you can complete this with just one person juggling the two pads. That's how I did it the first time I did I, I completed it. It was just me and two controllers. It's a bit cheesy doing it that way. But hey, it is your only alternative if you can't grab somebody at short notice. New record. New record. New record. New record. The nice, other nice thing about it is, for whatever reason, even though even though this is dramatically easier than the real Axis Mundi, than even the real Axis Mundi is meant to be, 
it still counts for the achievement and for seeing the final uh, final cutscene with Trisha, which is awkward. Ah, yep, just both of us dropping the wall at the same time there. Oh, yeah. I'm just noticing now we are going very slowly, aren't we? <laughs> New record. Gonna have to be careful with that warp block. If either player dies, it is of course game over. New record. New record. In fact, the one time that we did die it was because I got. It was because I got a little bit uh, careless with my button presses and managed to throw myself New off record. a cliff. New record. New record. My friend didn't die once. Hmm, this is quite a tricky situation here. New record. Hmm. I think we need to drop that middle section. Yep. New record. All right. All right. Sixty steps. New record. New record. So we proceed. friend up and then they oh no what I'm trying to do is get my friend to uh, step off the right hand side there and shimmy around to my location the controls can take a bit of getting used to though yep just like that They keep climbing up together as a new remarkable new team. Record. Oh yes, we so much are. New record. Just need to kind of manage where each other are standing. It does get a bit tight here. That's why you spend most of your time juggling control pads when you're playing this by yourself. New record. New record. New record. There is only so much room after all. That's it. Good on you, mate. He's gone up 70 steps. Starting to get a little bit unwieldy here, though. New record. Yeah, just drop that out. We can continue on up here. New record. Come on, buddy, up here. Pause. Oh, a quick pause to answer the phone. So it's never an issue when I was recording by myself. New record. New record. New record. New record. Coming up for 80 steps, about halfway done. The other thing about uh, Paris mode is the levels are significantly shorter. In single mode, 
Axis Mundi is a good 300 steps tall here. You're talking about 160 or thereabouts. So yeah, the difficulty of the difficulty of pairs ax, Axis Mundi. Oh dear, you've made a mess, haven't you, friend? Probably missed that, but Catherine managed to push away a block that she needed to climb up on. So we'll just reshuffle them a little bit there. Their head on up. Anyway, yes. New record. New record. Pairs Axis Mundi is about as difficult as Singles Altar, which is wacky, I know, but there you go. It really is a shame that there is no way you can get to play Singles Axis Mundi and actually finish it. New record, new record. It does feel a little bit uh, skeevy cheesing it like this. New record, new record, new record. Right. One. We drop that a little bit. New record, new record. We can drop the rest, I think. Yep. Drop the rest and jump out the way, and there's a path up. New record. Spending a lot of time jumping up and down here. Going to bring my friend up first before I can pull out this block. Oh wait, no. Not necessary. New record, new record. I hope I can get back up. <laughs> ah yes, there's a path. That's just coming up to 110 steps. Right. New record. New record. New record. So yeah, the thing with uh, Trisha did uh, generate the kind of discussion I kind of expected in the thread. I think overall my problem with what they've done there is the game was. New record. New record. We discussed this earlier in the thread, but. The game was sort of advertised on this very base, um, kind of like, you know, dating sim porn game style level. You know, where it was, you know, just something very kind of base and a bit creepy. And I think the impression that people got by the time the LP was over was that this was not the right way to advertise the game, that there was more to it than this weird oh here's an anime girl you can date her sort of thing and with Trisha it felt like they'd all they just kind of surrendered and gone back to that you know I think that's what kind of disappointed me about it and that's not gonna work you know yeah that's sort of my thoughts on it like all of a sudden it is all just about whether or not you feel like dating this anime chick. I'm not going to fixate on it too much because it, it does feel like a joke ending. But all the same, I think it just brings the game down a little bit. New record, new record. Hmm. Oh, right, okay. New record. Yep, that'll work. Now we just need to make a little pathway up here. Cross over to the other side there. Getting up to 130 steps or so. New record, new record, new record. New record. Hopefully not much further to go. Pull the other one, please. New record. I'm going to pull this one out, and my friend is going to pull it over. Thank you. Edge. Edge. 
Please move out the way. Thank you. New record. We're just about there. New record. New record. Oh. New record. Fuck. That's not good. I'm directly above that warp hole. And I can't move anywhere. Help me, friend. Thank you. That was a that was a scary moment when we were recording it. <laughs> Especially since we did actually have two failed sessions before this. We didn't we didn't want to get this far and then have to restart. New record. New record. I think my friend would have been leaving at that point, and quite justifiably. Here's hoping. Watch out for that warp zone, warp block. I keep saying warp zone. Too much super meat boy. New record. New ready steps. New record. New record. New record. We're just about there. Yep, there are the vertical stacks of uh, unmovable, unmovable blocks. A sign that we are near the end of the stage. Just need to figure out the way up. New record. New record. Pull that out, buddy. And we go, oh no, didn't even need to pull that. We've got our stairs up already. This long journey is and from here, it's complete cake. New record, new record. New record, new record. The tower splits into two at the last moment and each, each player must individually ascend each side. New record. New record. New Thanks very much, man. You press it. Finally, you have a pair of universe beating flyers. You're amazing. Damn, that was some fancy for work. Quite a nice record as well. I can with win nineteenth. Well now, let's see what we've got. What's our reward? Wow. This place is a dump, isn't it? The door is so small. <laughs> I'm glad I let my hair down. Is this it? You watch the playhouse from in here? I came, as promised. You were magnificent. You handled the realm of the gods like it was your own backyard. Each move you made was a minor miracle itself. Like when you made that jump, and the... Oh, just thinking about it gets me excited. Don't you get it? I'm head over heels for you. You possess a power beyond anyone else. I haven't felt like this in a long while. I'm really taking a liking to you. It's such a waste to feel this love for a human. I know. I'll just make you one of us. Oh, I have...
have so much plan to do with you, my new co-deity of love. I've got such a hunger for these feelings. I know you have some hungers as well, don't you? Come on. Are you gonna make me stand around like this much longer? Why don't you let me in? Well, will you? Well then, congratulations. And now, let's celebrate. I like to bear with the afro. 